Uh, let's talk about some Dexter knives today. And um, we feature Dexter knives at the shop. They've been around since 1918. Most of the knives are American made. All of the ones I'm showing you today are American made. Um, we just really like their products. Uh, let's start off with their newest product, and this is their new Dexter Dextreme. And it's a, it's a dual purpose knife in that it could be used as a fillet or a skin knife on the normal traditional blade end. But up here they have their tiger scalloped edge. And what's really great about this is that when you're working a bigger fish, a tuna fish, or possibly maybe even a blackfish and want to dress it, wh whack the tails off, whack the heads off, you flip the knife over, this saws through all the bone and the cartilage really easy. Uh, they've been selling very, very well. Uh, really good reviews from all the customers we sold them to. So um, we really appreciate that Dexter is always looking forward. And this is a, this is a great knife. So uh, keep an eye on these. The, um, the next knife we want to talk about is um, some of the Dexter fillet knives. And so uh, I have two of my favorite knives right here for the working um, on the fillet table. And the first one is a really small knife. It's a Dexter 1376N uh, with a rosewood handle and a carbon steel blade. Um, these are great knives because they keep an edge since they're carbon steel. And so when you're cutting through small panfish like porgies, uh, those little bones kind of nick the blades up and the blades get worn down really fast and don't hold an edge. Um, so this is a great knife. It's small. It's easy to work with around a smaller panfish. And then the 1378 Dexter is the knife of choice for most of the people who work like in Captree on the party boats. All the mates use this to dress all their fluke and other fillet uh, processing needs. Again, rosewood handle, uh, high carbon steel uh, blade. The blade is going to get a patina finish from years of use. It's not going to stay nice and shiny like this. It's going to get dull and funky looking, um, but that's okay. It's supposed to do that. This knife, when you purchase it, because it is rosewood and it has the carbon steel, what we, uh, should, what we should do to the knife is put it in a bowl of white vinegar and then take it out of the bowl of white vinegar, let it air dry, and then use the knife. When you get done with the knife, put some cooking oil. Um, you could spray a pan on it. Some people put olive oil on it, and you'll have this knife for a very long time. Don't put this knife if you buy. I have this knife in my home, at my kitchen, and I never put it in a dishwasher. I wash it by hand. Um, the next knife is for cutting bigger baits, like if you're cutting uh, bunker, butterfish flats, sardines, herring flats. And this is the go-to Dexter scallop knife. Uh, this one happens to be the 8-inch soft grip. It's got a super nice soft grip handle so it doesn't slip out of your hands when you have all the fish slime and the, and the juices on your hands. Um, this scalloped edge is the sharpest edge I know. Uh, this knife has probably put more people in the hospital than any other knife that I've ever used. Um, it's just a great knife for just cutting things, not precision, and just whacking it out. Um, another knife that's not made for that purpose is the Dexter bread knife. And the bread knife cuts bait really, really well. And it's got a little more finesse than the other knife because the scallop blade obviously is meant for cutting bread. Um, and it's nice too because it has an offset. So it kind of gets your hand away from the work a little more. And this is just a beautiful knife. This is their Velo series. It's carbon steel and stainless steel mix. So it holds an edge really well and it doesn't get rusty at all. Great knife um, and we like them a lot. Also in the kitchen, great for whacking up rolls and Italian bread and things like that. So a dual use knife, I don't know if it would go over very well after you cut some bunker flats and then go and uh, bring it into the kitchen, whatever. Um, how to keep these knives kind of sharp without going through a major process. The fastest way is the Dexter edge knife sharpener. And this is um, just got a little, it's got steel blades in it. And you just take the knife and to dress the edge, you just pull the knife back through and you'll dress and put a really fast edge on the blade. Um, Continued use of this particular product, however, will eventually give the blade a duller finish than normal. So this is good only to use periodically if you got to whack something up really quick and you want to get a quick edge on the, on, the, uh, on the knife. This is a great tool for that. For longer term use and for the better health of the knife, the Dexter steel is appreciated. And we've all seen these in butcher shops. The butcher has to get a quick edge and he just uses the two sides. And you know, he takes the knife and goes on both sides and puts a quick edge on it. And so this is a diamond sharpening steel, again, made by Dexter. Obviously it's more pricey than this tool, but this is a long term investment. Um, you buy it once, you have it for the rest of your life. So again, Dexter knives made in the USA, uh, great products and we re recommend them highly.